What's going on guys, Magician Jso here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Santa Killers box. So first up, let's take a look at the legendary power combo card, Battle Axe Peggy. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of this card in its power combo version, here's why. You're going to find very limited use for this card outside of the armed BGE. It's um, 50 base HP is nice, but it's nowhere near high enough to allow it to live long enough to build its craze there outside of the bonus when it doesn't have those shields from the arm bonus. Its 16 base attack is nice, and the 9 craze is pretty far up there for a craze value, but that's all meaningless if it gets taken out before it can craze high enough to just become an overpowering titan. Its 13 heal is really nice, though. That might come in handy for you during... um during challenges and rumbles the thing is though heals can be tricky because you have to place the card strategically to where you're not going to be getting hit in order to get your um heals off and still maintain full health so unless you can afford to buy out this box a few times just to get honestly probably four copies of that to have a team of them i don't see her as being too worth it just because she's not going to have much use outside of the arm bge once that ends in a few weeks um that being said you might find some use for her on a king of the hill island because her stats would get boosted up during Siege for King of the Hill. So once again, if you could afford to at least buy out the box once, twice would be better if you want to have a full team of them, then she would be awesome for King of the Hill because you're going to have a hard-hitting card there with all of the buffs. As for all of the items in this box, I've already covered all of these in detail in my previous box review videos for this BG, so I'm not going to be going over them again. Go ahead and check out those videos though to check them out. Now let's take a look at the characters in the box. First up is Bill Dotrieve. I've already covered him in a previous box review as well. He's a really good hard-hitting offensive character, so definitely a good character to draw for. And the next character in the box is Steve Smith. This is another fantastic character. Steve is a great defensive character with 56 base HP. His attack is on the lower end though with 8, so I wouldn't be running him too much offensively. What, um, what does work well for him though is for an American Dad Siege Island, because if you look at his skills here, he has that 8 Motivate to other American Dad card. So if you can have a team of him along with your, um, with your Rogers, your Klauses, and your um, Stands, you'll be in a really good spot for that. His 6 Bomb and 11 Leech will come in handy for either the Siege Island there, or it comes in handy as well for your defense deck, just because they're annoying skills to have to deal with. Another good thing for him is he does have some decent combos, especially during Disguised. One of my favorite combos to make with him is the Boy Witch Steve, which is just a really devastating combo to run defensively. And actually, you can run him offensively if you're going to be going for that combo in a Disguised deck because that does have Craze, so his low starting attack, you can easily overcome that. But yeah, he does have a few good combos, and he works just tremendously well on defense and for an American Dad Siege deck. Now let's take a look at the epic power combo cards. First up is the Santa Killer Steve. This is actually a really good pre-combo for an epic. If you look with its 55 base HP, it is a great card to run defensively, even possibly at the pay to win level. Especially during the arm bonus with the extra shields it'll have, the chances of it getting one-shotted are pretty slim. And even off of the BG, 55 health is right in the sweet spot there for a defense deck. Unfortunately, it doesn't have too, any of the skills that would be good for like defense like a wall or anything like that, but the 55 health is still really nice. You could also find great success running this in a American Dad Siege defense deck as well, just because of that extra health there. Skill-wise, the 11 boost is nice, so you can definitely boost up its initial 10 attack pretty quickly if you combo other cards down your line. The 7 punch can come in handy offensively, and just on the defensive end, it will be causing some damage to your opponents, which will be annoying for them to have to try to heal back up from. Plus, the 11 jab is really nice because you'll be boost, um, breaking through any of their walls and stuff, especially during the um, armed bonus, you'll be breaking through their shields, so their shields will be meaningless in the face of Santa Killer Steve. So all in all, I think this is a great epic pre-combo that they included in this box. And the other epic power combo card in the box is Ready for Santa. Honestly, I wanted to like this card, but I just can't in all good conscience. The 33 health is just abysmal. This thing will get taken out so quickly with that low of a health. At the free-to-play level, you might be able to run it offensively because its 17 base attack is pretty nice. The 8 bodyguard might be able to keep it alive for a bit, and the 4 shield all could come in handy for you to help keep your um, offensive line's health up a little bit higher. 
And yeah, it does have 11 recover, which is a lot for recover. So you can technically try to increase its health to keep it alive. But I'm still not the biggest fan of this card at all. So even, um, even at the free-to-play level, if you have the legendary cards to balance out your deck, just recycle this for the Watts. If you don't have any other better options, though, like if you do need one last card to round out your arm deck, then yeah, you can go ahead and quad it up. But again, that's just at the free-to-play level. If you're pay-to-win, you should have enough cards to not even trip about this, and I would definitely just burn it for the Watts. And that's going to do it for my review of the Santa Killers box. On the whole, I'd give it a 3 out of 5 stars. It does have a lot of the good um, armed items in there, so if you do need to finish out your armed deck, it's not a bad box to pull into that because all of the three items are great items to use. However, the legendary pre-combo battle axe Peggy, as I said earlier, I find her lacking. She just isn't going to be very useful outside of the arm bonus and then maybe on a King of the Hill Siege Island. And then when it comes to the epic pre-combos, only one of them is even worth keeping in my opinion. The other one is barely worth its watts. So, yeah, that's why I give it a 3 out of 5 and not a higher score. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with my assessment? Or if you have a different opinion, let me know down in the comments section. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review and found it informative. If you did, please click that like button. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more animation throwdown content and more box reviews in the future, go ahead and subscribe. I have another Rumble uh, match video coming your way later today, as well as all the re remaining matches from this past Rumble coming up over the next couple days, so stay tuned for that. Anyways guys, thanks again for watching. Till next time, peace.